how a toilet actually works. This video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Go check out leak-pro.com. Plumbers, we take this for granted, but the engineering is brilliant. DIYers understanding this is the key to diagnosing any toilet problem. And for every homeowner who's ever wondered what's happening inside that porcelain throne right there, well, you're about to learn the hidden mechanical secret that makes it all work. Now, everything starts with the flush handle, but the real hero And here's the first secret. It's designed to float just long enough for the entire tank to empty before it seals the hole again. If this part fails, you get that annoying running toilet that wastes hundreds to thousands of gallons of water a year. Now about 1.6 gallons of water suddenly rushes from the tank into the bowl. And here's the part most people get wrong. They think this rush of water pushes the waste down with the drain. But that's not what's happening at all. The real magic, the secret to the whole operation isn't a push, it's actually a pull. Now, this toilet flushes different than most toilets. This one actually flushes out the front. Now, you can't see it, but it, it comes down in the bowl right here, comes up and around and back down, and then back down here to the flange. So this one does, this one flushes completely different. Now let's look at the inside of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flush this just to show you. Ready? Now, if you notice, this one didn't swirl. Okay, so it does, it flushes a little bit different. Now, this S-shaped trap pipe is the trapway, and it's the most brilliant part of the whole design. When water from the tank fills the bowl, it also fills this entire trapway, creating a continuous column of water. Now, once that happens, Gravity takes over and it pulls that column of water down the drain. When the water goes down in the trap here, it comes back up. So this is the S trap I'm talking about. This is where you get the suction. Once this line gets full, the gravity starts pulling that water through and sucking it on down. Now you've got a tube inlet here. This is what keeps the level right in the toilet. I'm gonna only pour about half this in here. It's a four gallon bucket, so I'm gonna pour about two gallons. I may not even go that much. Really 1.2 is what it should be. But I just wanna show you that once you get it started, the suction is what pulls it through. And right there, you see how it pulled everything down through there. And finally wash the floor in here. Now, when you go to these websites and you see an S-trap and you hear all the plumbers say, oh my God, that won't work. That's why. Gravity kicks in. And when you fill a lavatory or something like that with water and you don't have a vent pipe, water goes down and if it's in an S-trap, it's literally not the water above pushing down that makes it drain down. It's once that water goes down and starts going through that S-trap, it creates a suction. Now, it literally pulls the rest of the water out with it, and that's what leaves a dry trap. Now, luckily, toilets are designed so that won't happen. That way you don't get sewer gases in your bathroom each and every time you flush the toilet. But if you do have a bathroom that maybe you don't use often, you might go in there at least every week or two, turn on the water in the tub, turn on the water in the lavatory, that way those traps don't naturally evaporate. So remember, it's not a push, it's a vacuum. And once the tank is empty, the flapper closes and the fill valve turns on. But look closely. There's a second smaller tube sending water down the overflow pipe. So the inside, talking about it, there's your flapper right there. It's got air in it. That's why the holes down here, when you pull it up, it gets a little bit of water in it. And that weights it down. When the water level comes down, it'll drop right back down and seal off again. This is your fill valve. This is what kicks on later. So once that water level is full and you've got your float level set, you never want to come above one inch right here. That way you maintain your air gap. But once this starts coming down, it opens this valve and allows water to come in through the bottom here. And that's what fills it back up. Most toilets for you DIYers and homeowners, 
this flapper is what needs to be replaced. Normally, it's bad and you want to replace it soon. If you don't, you'll have to replace the entire fill valve, which is this part right down here. Now, this is another secret mechanism that is designed for magic. Its only job is to refill the toilet bowl to the proper level, which reestablishes the water seal that blocks dangerous sewer gases from entering your home. If this little tube is disconnected, your bowl will not refill properly. And your bathroom, well, it's gonna start smelling like Okay, so let's recap the genius. The handle, it lifts the flapper. The water rushes into the bowl, not to push, but to fill the trapway, and then gravity pulls that water down, creating a siphon that pulls the waste out. Then the fill valve refills both the tank and the bowl, getting it ready for the next use. Now it's a brilliant piece of 150 year old engineering that we use every single day. Now, if you thought the science behind a simple flush was interesting, imagine understanding the why behind getting into the right trade. That foundational knowledge is what separates a good plumber from a great one. And it's what gives an interviewee the confidence to apply for any job. Get with Rich Roger. My course is built on these fundamentals, giving you the core knowledge you need to get started in a successful career. If you're ready to learn the secrets, check out the link in the description. This video was sponsored by Leak Pro, leak-pro.com. If you're a plumbing company owner or you're a plumber and you wanna learn how to improve your skills, your services, the value you bring to your customers each and every day, go to leak-pro.com, check out the training, check out the equipment, and it'll help you take care of your customers better. My name is Lee Lavoie and I work for Above and Beyond Plumbing in Oklahoma City and I am a service plumber. When I first showed up, I thought, oh gosh, you know, just kind of overwhelmed. Been in plumbing my whole life, but never done leak detection. So getting hands-on, my expectations were that I, I thought I would get it a lot quicker than I did. Getting out there, training my ears, you know, I'm an experienced plumber, so I'm thinking I got this, and it's, it's just not what I expected. It, it was a learning curve for me. What stood out to me the most was trusting the process, literally going from step one, you know, going through the steps. I think as an experienced plumber, the tendency would want to be to kind of jump the gun and think you're just going to start waving the wand and find the magic spot. So I had to get used to that process. When I first showed up, I was skeptical. And now, like I said, I want, you know, tomorrow I'm ready for those calls. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, line them up, let's get it. Huge thanks to our channel members. Your support helps us teach and grow the trays and keep this community strong. From the bottom of our hearts, we appreciate each and every one of you for being channel members and helping make all of this happen. Now that you're an expert on how a toilet works, check out this video right here where I show you the four tools you need to fix 99% of toilet problems. Or check out this other video where you learn more about your entire plumbing system.